What's up everybody and welcome back to my hardcore my name is potato and I'm in my creative world right now Because I wanted to show you the little modification to the pig farm or the pig side of this um, To make this works now uh, I ended the last episode just testing this half slab right here uh, unfortunately um, Even though that did work pushing the pigs down the baby pigs. I didn't know how to kill them uh, luckily one of you, uh, informed me, in fact. Here's the two people that, uh, gave me the idea to fix it. Uh, Josh said that the piston, uh, hurts the pigs, and that's because, uh, we were using a full block here. Uh, I remedied that by, uh, putting in a, um, a not full block. I, I basically, I, um, just put glowstone there. That way, uh, now the pigs, uh, they still float up and down, but when I want to go, push them, and that block still pushes the babies, but it does not hurt the, uh, the, the bigger pigs, the grown pigs. So let's put a couple more in there. We'll make them all float. There we go. There's a couple of babies in there, and then we stop. They fall down, boop, and the babies pop out. No problemo. Now, uh, to solve the bottom half, uh, the burn boss, who left a comment on the last episode, um, left the comment to replace the soul sand with uh, a hopper, which is what I did right here. There's a, uh, a hopper here instead of the soul sand, and then there's a half slab on top of it. Uh, we put a, our chest back there, so we've raised it by one, you know, because it, the, the hopper used to be down there, and then there was a chest here. Um, instead we we raised it so uh, because of that now the baby pigs will not burn but if there is adult pigs in here they will they will get cooked up and I'm getting weird problems with them glitching out and stuff but as soon as they die there we go they drop their cooked pork chop in there so this is now a working pig farm and if we go back uh, not back. I meant exit. There we go. Back to my hardcore. Here we are. Back in my hardcore. I was up here getting some more. I think I was dropping off materials, which I, I still need to do. Let's, uh, let's drop off all these. There we go. Uh, the droppers. We need to actually set that up, so maybe we'll do that this episode. Um, all the way down here. Those are still working fine, as you can see. A little bit of decoration going on here. Oh, snap. A pig and a cow. And so now we have our pig farm over here, cow farm over here working great. It looks like we have all adults, so let's uh, let's let's burn those suckers, get them um, depositing the stuff. This chest right here actually just holds wheat, which um, you know I use for for the cow stuff. And then over here we have carrots uh, up top. Actually, if we just begin the breeding process on both these guys, there we go. We'll come up to the top, put a half slab up here so I don't fall into the hole. I haven't actually tested it with the pigs. They're not really jumping high enough, so maybe I'll put a, a half slab here. Do I have one down here by chance? I do not. So let's uh, get a half slab. I just put those back too. Go here, and then we'll put half slab there there we go now they're all jumping so we'll just uh okay fine eat one there you go <laughs> and I think I got them all yep and then we'll go over here to our cows and do the same breeding thing as you can see I also connected both these farms with a little tunnel up top here and I just hit level 35 nice I think there's still a pig that hasn't gotten his loving on because I still see hearts it doesn't matter I can't get them all anyways and I can't get this experience for some reason so that's fine we'll just go down here some baby pigs fell already do that push the rest of the babies over and we'll just wait for those guys be done do that push the baby cows out how many was that? Is that only two? Is that only two? I am disappointed in you cows, but uh, yeah, did a little pig and cow mural type of thing here. I'm not one for pixel art. I don't really like doing it, but uh, I didn't know what to put on the walls, and this was before I, I did my cobblestone and smooth uh, brick design here. 
So I decided, you know what, let's go with uh, some stained clay, which uh, the rest is inside of here. Um, and I think actually there's still a lot. Okay, no, there's just, just a couple over here, which I'll probably come and grab whenever I need it. Right now I don't need it, so that's a good place for it to stay. And then the cow. Unfortunately, with stained clay, it's, um, the colors are not that great. Like, this is supposed to be black, and then this is supposed to be white. Um, so, and then I couldn't, I didn't have a lighter shade of pink, so I just did the white up top on the nose. It's, it's fine. It, it'll work. I mean, they got a little white on top of their nose. Um, so yeah, that's what's going down over there. Um, right now, though, our current situation with, I think these two I can break. Yeah. Um, our current situation with the hoppers is that they lead over here. Uh, where's the last one? Is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. So we got our stake and stuff. Um, got the hopper system going down and over here. This one comes out from over there and goes all the way through here. So these are going to need, or going to need, they're going to have to lead their way. Probably, I'm still not 100% sure where I'm going to put them yet. Um, I, I guess I could lead them all the way over to here down below like just get a bunch of hoppers which I need to make more of I think I'm pretty low right now I got five left after that last project which is fine I have the iron to spare in fact there's this enough this iron right here will probably get me a good amount and then uh, we'll just do a straight uh, item elevator up to these chests um, and then uh, we'll, we'll sort them out somehow I still haven't looked that up apparently it has to do with like filling up the entire chest with uh, with the items and then just running the hoppers over them and then they get deposited into the chest that they belong into I think that's how it works but you need an entire chest of those items which I'm not sure if I have well the vegetables most definitely I do um, the other stuff I'm not too sure so so show uh, let me um, go get up all those resources and uh, prepare to do a little dropper action or item elevator action and back over in our creative world I have this whole machine all set up this is uh, another doc M design it's uh, basically an item sorter type of deal basically I'll have many of these stations right here um, lined up and uh, up here would be our delivery system uh, basically this would be the items going down through the stream so we'd take up our um, our item elevator and at the very top the dropper would be probably faced outwards onto a stream of water that'll take it over a couple of hoppers will probably be a couple of streams and um, including probably one right here too actually and uh, the items will flow over the hoppers and um, when they reach a certain threshold they will uh, activate this comparator right here, which then activates the clock right behind it. And then um, after a while, uh, when there's room inside the dropper, after the dropper activates and sends one out, it will um, have room for another one, which then uh, activates the hopper. Goes through these hoppers and into this chest right, right here. So obviously I have it set up for carrots right now. And then the stuff here would just be like the last item in the line which is basically every other item I have right now because we're only sorting carrots. So the way this works is that it works off of the comparator's ability to, um, well, to compare uh, two signals. Uh, we have a signal going in from the side here um, into this one, which is uh, a lever right here that goes up. Um, three blocks, so it's just one, two, three, and then it goes right into the comparator. And then it also, also taking in a signal from the back of the hopper here, which would activate the clock. So once it gets a signal that's higher than uh, 20 carats right here, it will activate and then it'll turn this off, which then activates the whole clock and fires the dropper. So uh, let me act activate my very sophisticated dropper system back here. You can see that it's just dropping a bunch of items. And you can uh, see right there that the, all the ones except for carrots are passing over. The carrots kind of take a little bit, but they catch it right at the end. And uh, it doesn't actually miss any. 
Um, which is nice, so, because there's such a big threshold up top, and there's never going to be a point where we're going to have too many items in the system. So, there we go. That's I think that's enough for now. So let's go see if it missed any carrots, and if so, I'll have to eat my own words. Look at that. It did actually miss some carrots. I didn't see any pass by, but it did miss some. Um... But thankfully, we're never going to have a situation where there's that many items rolling through here. It's going to be a bit of a slower process. Or maybe there's ways for me to tweak this. Maybe make this clock a little bit faster for it to click through more. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or actually take out the ice. Maybe just taking out the ice will be a simple fix. There we go. Okay, so we can't put, have a solid block here. Um, so, But glass works too. Um... So it shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's just double check. We're missing our lever here. We're missing a repeater here. We'll keep it on two ticks and see how that works out. And I think, yeah, the rest is good. Okay. So that fixed our problem there. I like the faster clock. A little bit better now let's try this one more time so now the items are slowing down which should give the hopper plenty of time to recognize carrots and be like okay no it didn't it just it just missed that carrot right there it could be because of two items going over the hopper at once and then the other item takes priority so it checks that other item, and by the time it gets to gets time to check the carrot, the carrot's already gone through. I think that that's what's happening. It's the only thing I can think of. Um, but if you guys know, uh, let me know. I'd rather not build the system uh, and get it all set up for this to not work perfectly. I don't know. I guess I'm okay with a little bit kind of overflowing. But um, I'd rather it not, you know? I'd rather it work. <laughs> His worked flawlessly, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. So let me know in the comments below if I'm uh, if I'm missing something. We'll turn this clock off because there's no reason for that to keep on going. So uh, let's go back to my hardcore world. Okay, so here we are back in my storage room. This is right outside of here. I've expanded it a little bit. This episode's getting to be a little bit long, so I'm trying to uh, trying to speed through. A little bit of it just to do some simple cuts here and there just because uh, I want to keep you guys in the loop but we don't have time to, uh, to make this an hour-long episode uh, so I can't show every single detail basically what I'm gonna be doing is running uh, the system over the uh, the droppers and the droppers will be connected directly to the chest that way we have no chance of missing an item uh, that's trying to get fired into the chest and uh, I have to separate them um, at least by three, so, uh, this would be one, two, and three, and then it starts over again, because we need, uh, a one space block in between each system, because we can't have them butt up against each other, because, uh, redstone would connect to the comparator of the other side, and that's just bad news, so, uh, the, the smallest that you could do this is, uh, the way I have it set up right now. Unfortunately... Uh, I was trying to think of, okay, how many chests do I need for how many items? And, uh, well, we got three up top. Those three, since I'm not going to be using them very often, uh, we're going to be putting those ones over on these three chests over here at the very end. Um, however, the stuff down below, uh, so we this is basically carrots, wheats, and potatoes. Um, probably not in that order, but th that'll be on that side. Then we have melons, pumpkins, and... Um, pork and steak oh and leather actually we have another one so we have two more okay well that actually solves my problem here I'll just take this out deeper and then we'll just have one more on each side and then uh, then we're good okay never mind uh, did not think that uh, all the way through I was like I, I was thinking just pork and steak but I forgot you also get leather from cows so we'll have to do that too Anyways, this right here is going to be my tunnel that I'm going to dig down to floor uh, 40 or level 42, which is going to be the beginning of my item elevator. So basically, this is what I'm going to do. 
I should just dig down here until we hit 42 and then I'm gonna start building my um, my little disp or item elevator so I've done the uh, the dropper or the elevator uh, system thing already um, you can well you can't see uh, I don't have my silk touch pick on me yeah I'll just do that um, well, well, well I guess you can't really see anything because it's not hooked up fully yet um, the hoppers are right here underneath that area right there there just needs to be like two more hoppers before it's connected to all these droppers and um, they are uh, they're wired up through a vertical line of redstone alternating redstone that goes all the way up and um, if we well I guess it, it'll still make a click uh, regardless um, because uh, if I have uh, the dropper going into a chest it won't make a click which is another reason why I like these things here because the only click that we're gonna hear is from it firing out right here which um, means that we need to actually uh, how are we gonna do this I need to test uh, test my water streams here um, before we commit to any of these um, where they are so let's just take out some dirt here and then we're gonna raise our little platform up a bit while we work on this uh, I do not have any water on me I guess that would be another step that would be uh, pretty helpful let's go over here grab a couple of buckets of water and I've already counted out the width here um, I guess we'll probably use cobblestone it doesn't matter well, well this is just for testing purposes right now and then um, from this block down there is eight blocks and um, that's as far as as water will travel uh, given the given the route so let's uh, let's just test that right now so we have water over here on the corner goes all the way to the end okay perfect okay now um, obviously we want the dropper to be firing out into the water stream um, so we can't have it just right here we need to uh, let's let's pick up this water real quick and if we put water here I don't know if it'll affect this water it makes it stagnant because we got two source blocks on either side which is uh, not good not what we want <laughs> that's a long fall uh, I've already fallen down once but um, we, we could take it it's not that much damage so um, we need to figure out how to get our dropper system here like this there we go it'll fire right out that way um, to work the way we want it to actually uh, I know uh, I know a, a way to do this already we take it up one more block yeah like this and um, which means we need to put a redstone torch there and uh, then we it doesn't have to be glass but I or, yeah, whatever I already have glass on me and we'll put our water source here and then we'll just put a sign right here and then it won't uh, it won't bust it and it'll still push the items down into our other stream do I have signs down here I thought I did could use a ladder I guess but let's just uh, let's just make a quick sign we're probably gonna have to use a couple of these anyways um, because we're gonna have to have another oh right uh, another dropper system or elevator I, it, it's a drop it you, we use droppers and elevators and it, it just confuses me oh right okay then we put a sign here and then water there 
And then that water will push the items down into here, which then get run over the, all of these hoppers. And then from here, it's going to fall into another hopper system. We're going to have another elevator system and then carry them over, over onto this side. Um, it's a little complex, but I think it's, uh, it's worth it. I think for something this, this neat, it'll be worth it. And uh, I kind of like the look of the glass here. Gotta admit. So I'm going to um, wire these things up. You guys know how uh, how they go about being done. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do one on camera, but I gotta go get more items. I only have one comparator, a couple of repeaters. So hold on. And back on behind, uh, here we are, well, we're behind the whole system. I've actually had to turn this one sideways because I couldn't go uh, directly out behind it because of, well, our elevator system is right here behind it. It's a little smiley face. So uh, I turned it sideways and it should still work just fine. I haven't tested it because uh, well, I don't have loads and loads of an item yet. But um, over here we have uh, the other two uh, that are on this side. And I've cleared out the room behind here. Hopefully we don't need to mess with this redstone there, but I don't believe we have to. So the way you go about doing this is that we need a comparator. Uh, I always like to start with a comparator because I feel like that's the input of data um, uh, that you're collecting, basically. So uh, start with your comparator, which comes out of the hopper um, because you want to know if there's anything inside the hopper. And uh, those two need to be half slabs from the comparator. We need to put on a redstone torch on the back of this block. Uh, actually, we're going to still need those. Uh, I should be able to have both of those on there. Yeah, we'll just switch out these. Um, and, uh, well, let's just finish up this side too, because this side's easier. From here, you have redstone. That leads down to over here and then I believe one more there's one that goes that way then it comes this way and then here we have our lever let's just make two levers just to save ourselves some time Oop. turn that on and that should power all three yeah there we go so you can see there, it's connected to the comparator. So that side's done. Then we got to finish up this row right here, which is um, basically it's like a uh, it's like a block uh, step down, I guess you could say. Do one of these, and then it goes down to here. We'll replace this just so we know that we've replaced that block. And then, um, oops, repeater into the block that's underneath the guy here. Then redstone all the way up to the top. And then down here is a repeater this way. And that's our speed, basically. Or the one that I've been changing for speed, because that's the one that's usually at three ticks. I, I'm putting on two. We'll see how that rolls. And then to make sure it's a clock, put a redstone torch there. And then it should repeat itself. So that's basically it. And I say basically, I mean, that's that's it. It's, it's just that easy. Um, and in fact, we should be able to copy it over onto this side uh, fairly quickly. We'll do that. Then we put our blocks here. Don't have to be cobblestone, but just for the sake of uh, the whole build, why not? You can see it's it's already rolling pretty quick, and it's going to keep burning that thing out. But that's uh, that's fine for now. And then from here, we have our half slabs. Half slab here and here. And one here. Actually, we need uh, we need that block here with our second lever, which we'll turn on now. Redstone, redstone, redstone here. 
we need to get over on this side to put our other comparator. Whoop. All right, we have a glass block here. Block and boop, there it is. All right, so that's both sides done. Um, the redstone is fairly easy. I mean, if I can do it, then you all can definitely do it. There'll be a link to Doc M's video about it down below anyways. And he's much better at explaining it because uh, those guys are they're pretty smart when it comes to all this stuff. So uh, I recommend going and uh, checking out his video. Learning yourself something and then um, well, coming back here obviously for, for another episode. So other than this, we just got to actually go back downstairs, hook up the droppers and then we're good. And then it's just filling it in or filling in all the spots and stuff which is uh, definitely what it's not going to do for the first few. In fact, it's going to fill up this one probably. Um, actually, real quick, let me make a cut. I'll hook it up and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys. Okay, so it's up now. And I think I may have some timing or something wrong down below. As you can hear, there's sort of a beat to it. Um, instead of it being just a solid, you know, turn on maybe maybe it's the delay I'm not sure real quick I just want to show you guys the clock problem this was actually on one tick when it needed to be on the second tick so uh, my little clock here uh, kept burning itself out because it was going too quick but now it's good solid and it's moving items up at a very quick rate but I'm gonna have to go down there probably at one point and um, double check on it but uh, it's definitely moving items up and uh, let's go over here and actually see uh, how well it's doing so you can see our first chest there already has uh, dirt in it but that's from something else I don't know it's gonna be moving all of those melons up here and you can see it's it's putting inside of that one got dirt in that one too uh, We'll just, uh, we'll let it fill up this dropper full of stuff. It's going to take some time because there is a lot of items down there. Um, but the fact that it's all automatic, but A plus for me. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm moving away from those droppers because they are loud. Anyways, I will see you guys next week for, I don't know yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, we are going to have to work on an end farm pretty soon. I have an idea for a pretty inexpensive one and then maybe later down the road we'll do like a really big one but um I need to make sure that the one I'm thinking of works yet works first because I'm not 100% sure about it because the one that everybody always makes is that giant I think it's ethos one I'm not sure but um anyways yeah uh, maybe send me some some of your favorite Enderman farms uh, that'll be very helpful for me. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I will see you guys later.